family and friends this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing S. Ounce Family Garden and I'm gonna take you guys around it's uh, early morning I'm gonna take you around show you a couple of things that we've got going on on our property we're trying to improve some of the areas as far as uh, where it's retaining water and uh, just improvements overall so let me take you over first to one of our little micro orchard areas. So we've started working on the micro orchard area. And we started off with a trench. We're going to hopefully drain off some of the water that's out here now and get it leveled off. But we're going to put a gravel pathway in this low area where the trench is now and hopefully that'll give us a nice stable area to walk through on bring the riding mower on if we're hauling a trailer so we can go all the way to the back up to the front without having to go through mud so we got a uh, contractor out and he's done a good job so far and we'll have the same contractor to level it off. We're gonna bring down those three trees inside the fence first and then they're going to come back. They're going to grade it out and try to get the water flowing off back into the tree line down there. And then we'll have more room to put our grow tunnel which we probably won't get early this year it'll be late this year early next year before we can get that done but no rush and we should have plenty of space back here to add in a few more garden beds but I think what we're going to try to do with all this extra area is grow some uh, additional crops like corn maybe okra some more common field crops that we can grow more of in this open space so we'll see how it goes in addition to our grapes and whatever else we decide to put back here yeah these blossoms look good First two, some of the apple trees, we know it'll take them longer. The peach trees, some of the pear trees, they uh, blossom a lot earlier. And we hope, we're not sure, but we hope that these aren't all wasp nests. Hopefully some of them are mantis uh, egg sacs but we're not going to disturb them. If they are wasp nests, we'll leave them there until we see something fly out, then we'll get rid of them. But if they're mantis egg sacs, good for the garden. Even though I don't know, I don't know if mantis will lay their sacs so close together. They're pretty uh, competitive. But lots of room to add more fruit trees, add more crops back here and we'll see how it goes as we fill stuff up and uh, negotiate the space and one thing that I know we'll probably do is try to keep uh, some pathways even though we don't plan on cutting a lot of grass back here we'll keep some pathways like next to the fence wide enough and clear so we can drive the, the lawn tractor through there if we have to in addition to the gravel walkway we're putting in that way we have a little bit more freedom of movement yeah especially if we're hauling uh, bags of uh, gravel or topsoil or mulch so we don't have to hand carry everything 
deposit we're going to add on is we're going to gravel in this area next to our trash cans so that we can make this uh, another parking area we're kind of tight in here when we got our house built we thought we had plenty of driveway for two trucks a trailer or a motorcycle but uh we don't so we're going to add in here that way when we get deliveries of uh, mulch or things like that we got room to either move the truck or to drop it off in the gravel area and a few years ago we had someone suggest that we maybe put in drainage tile or a French drain back here this area gets very wet and muddy and sloshy too wet and muddy even to cut the grass at some points of the year and when our house was built this was supposed to be made to drain all the water off down into a retention pond or a drainage pond but it hasn't worked out quite as expected so we're thinking about putting a, a French drain here as someone suggested so that the water can drain off into it and this will stay dry enough where we can uh, yeah bring our our lawn tractor back here our riding lawn mower we hope that the trees will continue to soak up some of the the groundwater we know we've got a high water level back here high water table but it hasn't worked out as much as we hope so hopefully uh putting in a system to drain it off better will help and make it easier for us to come out here to work yep, our garlic's coming up good we got to reweed our garage garden area but we think it's going to look okay with a little bit of elbow grease we've moved some new beds in we're going to take out some of the old wooden beds and hopefully that uh is a good improvement yep the birds are over there in the micro orchard all that till dirt today they're looking for worms and i'm sure they'll find quite a few so a lot needs to get done but we're slowly making progress uh, obviously things like this take time and money and we've got a little bit of time this year before we have to start planning out and we can afford to do things a little bit at a time so hopefully uh you guys enjoy seeing what we're up to and uh we'll come back and we'll do more later so on behalf of the family here at s.a.s family garden this is rob the sapper gardener saying god bless our great country america and god bless you wherever you reside around the world take care Get out in your garden, boom, and grow it up. Sap her out. <laughs>